All right, so uh, same setup as last time. We've got an H bridge <clears throat> driving this choke. On the other side of the choke, I have a, a shorting setup. So as isolated power sources on every board. Uh, just for ease of it, I got some DC to DC converters, but I'm just going to use the uh, the isolated power sources for now, just for troubleshooting. Um, <clears throat> so it's got the timing. It would make sense. <laughs> every time. Every time. All right. So you can adjust the window and whatnot. Um, so H bridge is running at around a thousand hertz. I'm only shorting one half of the cycle, not on both peaks. Um, this one is used for dumping it. I'm running at about three microfarads on this cap. Cat. Damn. All right, so right now there's with no coil sorting. This is the waveform coming off of the secondary of the choke transformer, kind of a crude transformer. This is the voltage going into the capacitor. So into the capacitor, I'm getting 14, 15 volts. <clears throat> so I'm gonna turn on coil sorting. you hit Okay, so with coil sorting on into our <clears throat> capacitor, we've got about 40 volts. Okay, so with no coil sorting, we're getting about 14 volts into the cap. <clears throat> so there's a voltage going to the capacitor. There's a voltage uh, waveform coming out of the transformer. I just got the ground to the scope. It's um, isolate, isolated, so the ground shouldn't be an issue. But ground in the one lead, other lead is coming on the capacitor. So we'll turn on coil sorting, but watch the amperage. 
goes up. It's not horrible, but it still goes up. Now we're getting 34 volts um, into our capacitor. You can see the ringing. We can turn it down. The pulse width of the coil shorting down to nothing. And you can see our amperage draws all the way down to 0.1 amps. As we turn up the coil shorting, widen the pulse width of it, drive it up much higher. And depending on where you sort it within the si sine wave makes a big difference also. So there is a certain point where it gets very high and then starts to decrease again. It's got to be right about at one of the peaks. So I'm not sure how you guys got 600 volts, how Sean did, but um, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'll give you one last, one more look at the um, H bridge. What's what that looks like, just so you can see the frequency better. See our frequency is about a th just under a thousand hertz, so um, that's where we're at.